Hello everyone, this is Vivek Dwadi from NICER and uh, today I am making a very special video on careers after NICER. Okay, so many of you have asked me about uh, what will be the salary if you get after NICER, what will be the job opportunities, should you be doing PhD or should you be going for other jobs and all that. To remind you that I have already made a detailed series with an expert on career options who has already explored so much careers. He has already uh, completed his PhD in nanotechnology and its biomedical applications from University of Chicago. He is an alumni of NYSER. Okay, so with his help, his own experiences, I have made a series of videos on what are the alternative career options which are already available for a scientist or a person who has done BSc or MSc. In this video, I am specifically targeting about NICER that if you have completed your integrated MSc from NICER, what are the career options you can pursue. So one more point uh, before uh, going to the content that I am making this video by doing extensive research. I have talked to various people on LinkedIn. I have talked to scientists. I have talked to research scholars. I have talked to PhDs. I have talked to so many of my friends, my seniors, and then collected all the data which I could where the people from NYSER have already gone and all that. And then I am making this video. So if you find this video worth, please do like, share and subscribe. So what are the main career uh, opportunities which people from uh, NYSER get? So first is BARC, Bhav Atomic Research Center and second is PhD. If you have completed your uh, integrated MSc from NYSER, then you get an opportunity to go for direct interview for BARC. You do not need to give any written exam, just uh, you can directly appear the interview of Bhav Atomic Research Center. This interview is as told by my seniors is very, very tough. Uh, very few people till now from NYSER have qualified it but it's obviously worth it like the salary is uh, what I've heard is about starting is 80,000 per month and it's a government job so there are various perks about it then the second option is PhD so majority of people from NYSER pursue PhD some because they want to do PhD some because there is uh, generally not much options which they are aware of right because there are a lot of options which i have shared in my previous uh, career video so go and check it out so uh, the second option which mostly people pursue is phd so when you complete your integrated msc from nicer uh, in the msc uh, after bsc three years of bsc you have two years of msc in which you do a kind of a project work under a guide it is like a mini phd mini mini phd in which you kind of work on a particular idea and then you pr try to get some publications try to do something new uh, basically mini phd uh, in the sense that you try to do actual research rather than just studying theory and doing uh, learning simple things about practicals because in the bsc the three year phase of your integrated msc you have already kind of learned the basics now it is the time to apply it and produce something new so in that msc project uh, you have a guide then how you get a phd uh, recommendation of guide is needed you email to the industry uh, to the uh, various colleges in india or outside india in india uh, you need to give a net exam for outside it depends on countries in uh, us definitely i think you need jerry and Teufel. then you apply to various colleges then it depends on the level of colleges you are applying for example people from nicer have gone to various universities like mit yale university of wisconsin madison U university of chicago utd and so on a lot of universities outside india for phd uh, and as you know as i already shared to mit as well some of the universities where our seniors went are in uh, chemistry uh, people went to Yale universities, Emory University USA, University of Florida USA. Uh, this single person uh, Leela Sriram D from chemistry department he got four PhD uh, recommendations or four PhD opportunities offers that is from Yale, from Emory, from University of Florida and from U University of Utah. So if you are a very valuable candidate, a lot of universities will offer uh, their PhD to you. Uh, then we have a senior Aparna KH chemistry department. She got three PhD offers, 
यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ इलेनॉयस अरबाना कैंपेन यू एस एस्टोनी ब्रूक यूनिवर्सिटी यू एस एंड ओहायो स्टेट यूनिवर्सिटी यू एस ए देन वी हैव वेद प्रकाश रॉय फ्रॉम केमिस्ट्री डिपार्टमेंट ही गॉड दीज अबाउट फाइव पी एच डी ऑफर्स फ्रॉम यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ मिशिगन एंड अर्बर यू एस एस्टोनी ब्रूक यूनिवर्सिटी यू एस एूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ मिनेस्टोसा हाँ मिनेसोटा हाँ यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ मिनेसोटा यू एस ए यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ पिट्सबर्ग यू एस एंड टाटा इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ फंडामेंटल रिसर्च इन इंडिया दर इज अ होल लिस्ट ऑफ पीपल लाइक देर आर पीपल हु गॉट एज आई ऑलरेडी सेट थ्री फोर फाइव पी एच डी ऑफर्स राइट एंड इट ऑल्सो डिपेंड्स ऑन यूर फील्ड एंड हाउ मेनी यूनिवर्सिटीज डिड यू अप्लाई फॉर राइट बिकॉज दिस पीपल हैव अप्लाइड फॉर मोर देन फाइव यूनिवर्सिटीज एंड दे गॉट सेलेक्टेड फॉर दिस सो दीज आर दिस इज द लिस्ट ऑफ पीपल हु गॉट प्लेस्ड फॉर पी एच डी इन वेरियस यूनिवर्सिटीज अक्रॉस द वर्ल्ड now uh, that was the second option which most of the people pursue and if you are in this field of hardcore research which you want to go in the profession of maybe professorship and you know uh, you you are totally focused on research, research it's your passion then generally people pursue it then uh, apart from these there are actually various other options as well which most people are not generally aware of there is a person who went to isro okay uh, i'm not sure about drdo but there is uh, one of our senior who went to isro there are people who transition to un- uh, industries directly after integrated msc it depends on your skill set and job opportunities and how valuable you are to that particular company for example indian oil hires a lot of people from chemistry department okay uh, similarly there are so many other kinds of jobs outside science or maybe interdisciplinary okay like they are in uh, science as well as in uh, some other uh, field like maybe business in science because there are companies in science there are companies who are making vaccines for example in this covid times right so they need uh, chemists they need biologists so these people uh, these companies can hire you uh, one thing uh, to point out that there is no placement cell at nicer this is very important point so many of you asked about placement after nicer so in science there the placement term itself is a different thing because in science the placement is like a phd okay and you get paid for phd so you can uh, assume that it is like you are working and you are getting paid although it's called stipend it's not a job salary that oh you you can run your family on it it's up to you although it's a, a pretty good amount decent amount and that phd stipend in india it is uh, generally uh, 30 to 40000 but in us and other places or if you have a better profile you get uh, like uh, 3 to 4 lakh per month as well but also uh, the cost of living in uh, new york city and those us cities is also very high so remember that okay so you can assume that just like you finish btech from an engineering and you go to a placement uh, you you go to a company for working uh, similar kind of similar not exactly same uh, you finish integrated msc from nicer or any other college and uh, depending on how valuable you are to the company or to the professor for phd you get paid right and uh, depending on how valuable you are how best how good university you have how good funding in that university is so that they can pay you so a lot of factors are there so simply uh, there is a bark there is a phd and there are some other options like uh, which i have shared in my previous videos on career so now i have already shared a video on careers outside academia right but few of them i am going to mention here for example civil services uh, you lot of people go for ias and all uh, cds indian army air force navy uh, mba uh, we have a senior who went for mba after nicer uh you can go for government teachers you can become lecturers there is a tag of niger which is uh, generally very valued uh you know then you can join various government companies uh, qualifying gate exam and which is definitely tough to qualify gate exam from basic sciences because there are very uh, limited number of seat, seats as compared to engineering uh, departments now part 2 for this video which i intended to tell you is uh which very few people or almost nobody knows the career options after or outside academia after integrated msc from nicer these are you can go for instrumentation and engineering right there the 
instruments in labs which you use somebody is making them right you can go for that if you like uh, more into technical things you can go to lab technology and research and development you can go for photography and videography for example i am pursuing science right at nizer but i am making these youtube videos so my skill of making videos of public speaking uh, can be used definitely and the future of content is uh, assumed to be now video okay so videos are going to be the future of content uh, you are all consuming these youtube contents right just imagine how many videos you watch daily right therefore the photography videography traveling skills blogging skills uh, are very uh, can be options for you then cooking cooking definitely is a skill then acting and movie making uh, nizer has a film club right why do we have film club in research institute because never one skill is never sufficient for everything okay even if you come in science you need to give presentations about your thesis so there the public speaking and your oratory skills and various communication skills are going to help you so never rely only on one skill uh, this is uh, kind of extra gyan from my side to you then teaching and e learning you see byju is exploding nowadays right so people uh, need a lot of teachers so who can use this e learning methods and bring some change then web development uh, gaming deductions business and entrepreneurship there is no limit to that talking if you like talking then what are the career options for you career counseling public relations if you like politics you can go to various uh, like ias uh, these people frame the policies for various institutions right so there are people who frame the policies for nizer so you can go to those departments because uh, you need the knowledge of science as well as public relations and politics then you can go for uh, reading works uh, writing journalism sports and fitness fields you can go and if you like sleeping then i'm not sure any opportunity is there uh, or you just become so rich businessman that you earn despite of uh, sleeping so uh, these are about 21 opportunities extra which are shared in my previous career videos okay i hope this video was helpful to you i tried to share as much as i could about the careers after graduating from nizer and i think this video will also be helpful to various people at nizer as well then uh, extra points for you guys if you like r and d what are the fields you can go for is user experience researcher these are the jobs i'm naming r and d project manager r and d scientist technology assessment alliance manager health economics and outcome research a lot of these names i don't even know what actually their work is but i have a list of jobs which are there okay if you like clinical and medical affairs okay if you want to liaise with medical staff and be involved in regulation and development of medical drugs treatment implants devices then the jobs for you are epidemiologists medical affairs medical science liaisons Th these are highly paid jobs clinical trial project managers very well paid jobs regulatory affairs clinical data manager these are so many jobs and i don't think uh, these things are shared till now on youtube uh, really uh, i'm really serious that i don't think because i did not find this from everywhere so maybe you cannot find this on internet as well because these are kind of secret data which i collected after doing a lot of informational interviews with my seniors as i said with various scientists with various people on linkedin right so you need to uh, do work hard for yourself nobody is going to come and you know give you food uh, while you're sleeping so work hard for yourself uh, i hope you qualify in nizer nest or iit whatever career options you want to pursue uh, with this uh, thank you very much for watching till the end and do like share and subscribe if you find these videos useful because those are the tangible things which i can see the analytics i can see on youtube and they will motivate me to make these videos else as i have already told you my exams are coming uh, i have a lot of uh, homework you can say to do and various other plans right so i need a reason why i should make such videos so with that thank you very much and bye bye